All right, when we're solving these problems, we have to do a little thinking before we dive in. We have two things. Well, we have uh, one rational expression times another rational expression, or any two things, multiplied together equals zero. That means that this will be true if a is equal to zero or if b is equal to zero. So let's separate these out. If x plus 1 over x plus 2 is equal to 0, then the above statement will be true. Well, for this to be equal to 0, the numerator has to be equal to 0. Because if the denominator is equal to 0, it's undefined. So this is, means that x plus 1 has to equal 0. In this case, x would equal negative 1. In the other case, 3x minus 6 over 3 has to equal 0. We could factor 3 out of the top. But right now, it's easier if we just set the numerator equal to 0. And if I were to add 6 to both sides, I would get 3x equals 6. Divide both sides by 3, and I'm going to get x is equal to 2. And we're okay with that because up here, negative 2 would have been what made it undefined. So we have x is negative 1 and x is 2. Let's take a look at another one of these problems. Let's see if this will move up with me. Oh, good. Again, let's think about what we're doing. If we were to add two fractions together, we know they need a common denominator. Negative 15 over x minus 2 and 30 over x minus 4. You need to have the same thing on the bottom. Well, if we had one half plus two thirds, we would, since neither one of these can be changed into the other easily, we would multiply this by three over three, and we would multiply this by two over two, so that we would get denominators of six in both cases. Well, the same is true here. We are going to go ahead and we will multiply the top and the bottom here by x minus four. These problems can get a little long. And this side we will multiply by x minus 2. So then now you see I am putting these two expressions um, in, I'm reformatting them so they both have x minus 2 times x minus 4 at the bottom. I have to multiply the top here because the only way I don't change this meaning is to multiply by 1 and x over minus 2 over x minus 2 is 1. So here we will distribute, <coughs> we get negative 15x, negative 15 times um, negative 4, it's going to give us a plus 60. That's over x minus 2, come on, times x minus 4. Here we have, we're going to end up adding these together, we have 30x minus 60 over x minus 2 and x minus 4. So the whole thing can be written as when we're adding them, this isn't necessarily true when we're subtracting them. The whole thing can be written as that over just one of the denominators. So really it turns out to be negative 15 plus 30 it turns out to be 15x and plus 60 minus 60 turns out to be 0, and it is all over x minus 2 times x minus 4. Now, I'm not sure which way they, they want the answer, um, but I believe it's that way. I, I guess you could boil these, and you would get negative 6x plus 8. That really doesn't buy you anything. Anyway, this whole idea of a common denominator is what you, what you need to work with.